And one here as well. Now, uh, this should be good. Uh, let's try it out, shall we? Get a good speed at least, that's good. Hopefully we won't explode when I uh, detach the Arcea early solid boosters, because that would be very bad for all of us. Yes, it works well. Except that the engines are... yes, good. Alright, so we'll continue our journey upwards. Uh, I feel kind of bad for anyone who might be standing down there. Because it's got to be a hell of an explosion. Alright, we're gaining speed. Good, good. We're all, oh shit, we're almost at 10,000 already. Now that is quite the... Uh, Improvement. The thing is just that I really don't want to explode because of the wobbliness. Uh, yes, that would be very bad. And also, the maneuvering capabilities are not the best, I believe, because I forgot to put an RCS in there. So, yes. That's what's going on. This is almost where I want it to be. Um, there we are. Now, for turning. All right. Oh, I do want to go that way. Oh shit! No, this is not ideal. Shit. Come on now, detach yourself carefully, please. All right, and then we move further. Now the thing is, I really don't want to fail here, so I will have to be certain that I'm going the right way, which I will be doing in just a second. <sighs> that was close. Uh, Alright. Wonderful. Oh, it's 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 going all right. I mean, we haven't had any actual mishaps; just uh, things close to being it. But I guess we'll have to get closer to the apoapsis before we do anything else. Whoa, damn! All right, that should be close enough. No. We'll do an orbital burn to even out the orbit. Uh, it's not really working that well for some reason. Do not know why. Maybe if I aim a little bit more down. But Come on, we don't have all day. I really don't want to use this one to get away from orbit and into the moon's orbit. I uh, oh, the, I do want to use this one. I do want to use that one. But that might be the case, alright? Here we go. Here we go. Become an orbit, please. 
and uh, become unstable orbit. Right, that's good. Good enough. Um, yes. All right. So I will try to get to the moon. Uh, that should be all right. We're going that way, so uh, yes. I'm not under acceleration. Shut up. As you see the moon rise, you shall go for the moon. Operation shoot the moon is a go. Oh, there we are. Mm -hmm. Careful now. Just enough to uh, get it right. And uh, there we are. This is not ideal, but it will have to work. I have done this, but I don't think these Kerbals will be going back anytime soon, at least not with this vessel. Um. Oh god, it's going so slow. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Don't be so slow. For the love of God. Alright. Now we wait. But before we wait, I will show you something quite cool. Extravehicular activities! Look at this. So you can actually go outside the ship now. Uh, which has resulted in some not very good things for some Kerbals. Uh, there's actually some orbiting the sun as we speak. Uh, so it doesn't always go very good, and it's, as always, very realistic, uh, the actual, how it works, you see the gravity and things, because he does try to stay, like, you know, the Earth is down, or the thing that he's orbiting, but he doesn't have to be upright, let me show you. If you do like this, you press R, by the way, to, um, to activate your jetpack. You see, he can spin around freely. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, so it's it's realistic as always, in its own way. Then you can go down like this, for an example. Oh, ho, ho. hold on. All right, let's go for this one. You can press F uh, to grab onto things. Uh, like uh, these laddery thingies. And then you press space to let go. And you, well, float away, basically. Uh, but let's get back into the ship, shall we? Because uh, we're on the way to the moon. Whoop, shit. Boop, 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 boop. Board. Alright. Let's quicken the process up a bit. Almost there. Oh. 
Why am I not targeting the shit? Why am I targeting Kerbin? Alright. So I guess I'll... That's not what I wanted. Alright, here's some debris. Uh, totally irrelevant to everything. Sorry about that. The shit. That's the one we want to follow. Alright. So I guess we'll have to get closer. Um, there we are. A little bit closer. To the periapsis. Alright. Then we shall do a retro burn. Because that is very good to do when you are landing on the moon to get into an orbit of some sort. Yes. So I'm not actually getting into an orbit, I will land. Oh, shit. Um, if you're wondering. Hopefully I will land. I might crash, but let's hope that will happen, shall we? Okay, let's land on the far side of the moon. That will have to do. For I need to conserve fuel. Whoa! When I get down uh, so a little bit closer, I will lower my speed so I do not crash into the moon because that would be a very bad thing alright well who who's there 52 kilometers down that is it which I named because I'm not very clever I'm not very uh, creative that's the word it is just one in Swedish if you're wondering Alright, there we are. Let's do some retro burning. For that is what I like. Let's not do too much, however, because we need some fuel left. And it's quite a long way to go until we reach the ground. But I do not want to crash, because that would be very bad. I could just do this instead. I guess. Be more effective. Oh shit! I fear this might not go very well. I really don't have enough fuel. Uh, not even enough to land, probably. Uh, shit. When I start to see the little stone things, that's when I should uh, start to retro burn for real. That's a good rule. Uh, at least I think it's a good rule. Okay, uh, this might end in a terrible tragedy, it might also not, depending on these last few moments. Holy shit, this is quite intense actually. Oh my god, come on. Yep, I think this might actually become a successful landing. Uh, yes, it will, probably. 
can never be too certain, but I do believe that is the case. Alright. No! Don't go upwards, you buffoon! This could have been done a lot more properly, but as I gain more knowledge and more mods, I will be able to retrieve these kerbals. But for now, they'll have to remain here on the moon until further notice. I think. Alright. We're going in for a landing. Probably quite a hard landing because I'm not very good at this, but. Good. Ah! Good enough. Oh, shit. Okay! There we are. We have landed on the moon. So, who should be the first one to uh, step out on the moon on this mission? Uh, Jebediah was the first man to walk the moon. Or the first Kerbal. Um, but, let's see. G Ola doola doof kinky lonic of la 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 loof it will be chelble all right chelble make us proud small step for man small step for cover kind woo curb i guess beep 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 he's quite cute uh hold on i think my cell phone said something uh, all right. So here we are on the moon. So you can still use your you can right click your jetpack to see how much fuel you have, and every time you go back into the module, you get replenished fuel. So um, you use the jetpack with like left shift is upwards. Um. Oh shit. Uh, and then you'd use the WASD, like W. Oh, I just have to get some more air before I do this. Um, w, A, S, D. Yeah, you understand. And then uh, shift is upwards and control is downwards. And, uh, well. No, not sticky keys, for the love of God. Come on. Don't crash. Don't crash. Please, don't crash. Please. Oh, God damn it. Fucking sticky keys, man. Ah. Oh. They're the bane of my existence. Please. 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 <laughs> uh, please. Don't be so rude. Come on! Okay. Apparently, Fraps and Kerbal Space Program like to taunt me so and of course windows with the fucking sticky keys but I did I do believe I went through everything that I wanted to go through about the update and uh, I think you can check out the full change log somewhere but that will have to be done later sorry about the abrupt ending not really that much I can do. Fucking sticky keys. So, um, have a good night or day or whatever time it is. Uh, in your location and time frame. So please, have a good whatever, lads and ladies. Goodbye.